Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the new moon and the new moon's energy. I want to say something to you. One key word for you is passion. Okay. It may not feel like that. So let me explain. So we're in this new moon where there is a very strong Scorpio influence, period. Like they call Scorpio a water sign, but honestly, scorpions kind of live in the desert. But anyway, we're talking about turbulent water. We're talking um, when it comes to the water signs, those are emotions. Water pretty much equals emotions when you're on the journey. Leaking, you're crying, you're weeping, you feel sorrow, or you're crying tears of joy and you're like, oh, you know, it's wonderful, oh my God. And like the emotion just spills out. Like there is a spillway inside you. There is a deep well that's welling up inside you, right? Passion, that's this new moon. So how can women love men again? Or how can women love another woman again? Or how can the men love the men again? Because someone's going to love the men. If you love a man, pay attention to this, okay? Because your whole journey is about love. It's about getting back to the purity of love and the return to love. So when we talk about passion, you have to be passionately focused on this. Most people, they kind of forgot. They're like, I don't know what passion is. I've seen it in movies. Those are fabrications of what we remember. Okay, those are actors and actresses. And, you know, remember how they create it. They're like, they're breathing, their eyes are closed. Okay, did you ever kiss someone where the eyes are open? The best kisses are like eyes closed, right? So how can you love again? It's by using your light body to feel the support, to feel the love, to get to the passion. You have to do it by getting it away. Getting away and removing yourself from other masculine energies or other masculine influences. How easy is that to do if you're at work or you have clients or customers or you have to go get your car repaired? Like, listen, there really are professions that are more um, gravitated towards by men and professions that are gravitated towards by women, regardless of whatever we're saying about equal rights and equal opportunities. That's the reality, okay? So it's good to have these very uh, plausible things that we can aspire to, but it may be not be for everyone. And that's okay, because there is a place for you. There is a place in your heart for love. So how do you remove yourself from people who have the masculine energy? Please tell yourself first and foremost, they don't belong there. They do not belong there. Okay, that means you can't call them. If it's your ex, like, don't be tempted to call. Put them out. Okay, like, put them behind the closed door, somewhere, somewhere lovely, but, like, you can't even see them or talk to them. This energy, right after we got through eclipse season, that energy is, like, letting you know some things about yourself, about your journey, and it's here to empower you, it's here to embolden you, it's here to enliven you, and it means self-discipline. It means having a daily routine to do this, not just being, you know, once a week or once every time there's a crisis I recommend that you get in a routine, which is the one that I teach because it brings results. Self-discipline. How are you going to deal with the opportunity? So like when we just pass through energy, okay, and your passion can come online, what are you passionate about? What can you passionately do? What can you do by being who you are? Those are closures. What about the openings? Okay, we are going into a whole brand new year where that will bring its own challenges and it's going to be different than this year. This year is a lot like 2016, but this year is also pivotal. And this year is the ending of a cycle for a lot of people. 
So let's talk about some other things. How do you come back from, do you feel defeated? Well, how do you come back from defeat? How does the country come back from defeat? How does a people come back from defeat? How do they raise up and be the Phoenix rising? How do they rebuild? Okay. They have to find it within their hearts, the passion, the close ties to their land, the close ties to the real genuine parts of their culture, not the corruptions, not the bad habits. Okay. They need to heal. Okay. I'm all about healing the victims, healing the witness, healing the victims, healing the people that have been the collateral damage or even the perpetrators because this has created a lot of hatred. How do people get from hatred to passion? You have to incorporate 5D love or else you're not going to get there. Okay. Like, does anyone remember being a Neanderthal? Okay. Maybe not, but maybe you were. Maybe you have that 2% trace in your genetic makeup. But do you remember what happened to your people? Probably not. But the emotion might be there because your body keeps score. Your body has a memory. You remember things on purpose. There are parts of you that, you know, like your frontal lobe are supposed to help you remember because that's part of your warning system. And it's there on purpose, but it does not have to overreact. So... When it comes to men and masculine people, masculine energy people, we sometimes focus a lot on how they are, what they did, what they forced upon us, all of it. How do you love people again after like they've had to do terrible things? What if they're on the wrong side of history? What if they're on the right side of history and it was still terrible? Okay, we all carry this. All of us, okay, we're all intermingled, commingled. That too was a part of the plan so that we strengthen the physical bodies on purpose to incorporate and integrate our brand new light body. Sounds a little kooky, right? You were born into the family you were born into, not to be defeated, but to feel the return of your passion and get rid of your karma. That's how it works. So, if you want to use this as an opportunity for transformation, for feeling again, for getting back to real passion, right? I have these things coming up on the 12th, the new moon. The new moon's actually on the 13th at about 4 a.m. I'm not getting up at that time. But we will do something to focus on love, 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 love. And I'm not talking about brotherly love like someone smacks you and you're like, oh, hey, give me another one over here, right? Where you're just like, why am I turning the other cheek? I can't anymore. It's time for boundaries. It's time for the line in the sand. It's time for me to bite back. It's time for me to regain my dignity, okay? No more, no more, no more. Cease and desist right? And a lot of people are calling for this, but they don't have the next steps. They will be exhausted, whereas you can feel the passion you need to rebuild, build up, learn to love again, learn to trust and love, feel supported, feel supported by the universe and other people because they rise up to meet you where you are, not you going down and delving into the muckety muck again, supported, the way you should be, as befits you, as a beautiful, angelic, divine being of the light and love, an ambassador, however you say yourself, right? Stop running willy-nilly looking at the conspiracy theories. This whole journey is about love and a return from defeat. So join me on the 12th. We're doing the new moon, and we're going to focus on love. On the 19th, we're going to focus and a four-part class on relationships and twin flames. Like, how can you be a twin flame and all these other relationships? How do you get away? We're going to do that. If you join that, you can also get my four-day gratitude. Gratitude and love for Thanksgiving because sometimes it's really hard to find something to hang your hat on to shift yourself. I'm going to teach you how. So if you're here to... Help your journey, help yourself, 
help the one that you love who lives inside you help others that are near you help your loved ones because people scramble with that they're like my brain is like scrambled eggs i cannot think of how to help my child i have a way and the beauty part is a lot of it does not involve a conversation so no conflict no ego minds going to war and tensioning with each other it's time for us to lift this up that is how the change is going to happen that is how we be the change in the world because we are the ones that can funnel passion in and love and help so help yourself because that's how it works you got to get where you're going put that oxygen mask on help yourself and let's do it so i help, hope you have a wonderful day remember scorpio scorpio is about those like you know you're just going to grab each other and kiss each other passionately ever had one of those you might have had one with a soulmate with your twin flames energy it is full envelopment and lift off so that's what i'm here to help people with for next year because when we get rid of a lot of stuff you are going to really see some fireworks okay we can sense it we can feel it's imminent we can feel its approach you're having some expectancy like woo um there's a surprise party next year yes there is so please stay tuned like and subscribe tell your friends tell someone who needs this help i'm here to help stay the course have a lovely day bye